Good morning, I'm Isaiah. And I'm Audrey. And, and here are the announcements for the week, week of October 15th. There is a yearbook club meeting at Tuesday during lunch in D10. Okay, Shepard, we talked about our cross country team last week, so you guys heard a little bit about it, but it was actually a really big deal what they did. They made it to county finals, schools from all over the Bay Area were there, so it's a really big deal to make it down to county finals. We had some people get medals, and they did really well. So in addition to the regular awards that the cross country team got, these guys get something special. So these are the awards that we're gonna be passing out to our county finalists. So we'll call them up one by one, and first, covering up their awards, we have a preview of the brand new jerseys we got that they will be wearing next year if you're coming back. So we got new jerseys, and for those of you that didn't run this year, this is what you'll be wearing next year. But we have, first up, Isaiah Sanchez. Friday is Spongebob Day. For more information, please watch this next segment. What's your name? Adam. What is your favorite Spongebob character? Um, I like, um, I like Buzz. I like, I like Patrick from Spongebob. Even the bus skin, yeah, I like that. It's really sexy. Okay. Cheer you up. It's called the Ugly Barnacle. Once there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. That didn't help at all. Um, my name's Winnie. What's your favorite SpongeBob character? Um, my favorite SpongeBob character is. Inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. What's your name? Jonathan. What's your favorite SpongeBob character? Uh, SpongeBob. Right. Put the money in the bag. Put it in. Um, you're facing the wrong way, sir. Uh, all right. Give me the money. Will that be from your savings or your checking account, sir? Uh, savings. May I please see some identification? Sure. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Sir, we are showing a balance of zero dollars and zero cents for both of your accounts. Oh. Next. During lunch on Wednesday, go to the library to take a picture in front of the Be Kind poster. Hello, Shepherd students. Last week, we learned about National Bullying Prevention Month, which is in the month of October. And for review, we learned that Bullying can include putting down or criticizing someone in person or online, spreading rumors, sharing false information and damage someone's reputation, 
deliberately excluding someone from a group or activity, scaring someone to control or manipulate them, as well as hitting, pushing, or any form of physical harm. Remember, we need to stand up and do something. We also have 50 adults on campus that can help us, but as students, we need to stand up to bullying. I can't believe she called her that name. It wasn't my idea. I didn't post that comment. I just read it on someone else's wall. I didn't put him. I just saw it happen. I'm not the problem. I wasn't the one throwing dodgeballs. The other kids were. I got the text. But I didn't forward it. I didn't start the rumor. I just told my best friend what I heard. remember don't be a part of the problem and do something about bullying when you see it or when you experience it when i think of someone who takes a stand against bullying i think of malala you saw see malala is a powerful symbol of unity and peace at the age of 16 years old malala advocated for girls education and human rights Malala speaks out about the importance of education for girls in Pakistan and has become a voice for those that have been treated unfairly around the world. Malala's courage resulted in becoming the youngest Nobel Peace Prize recipient. We can all aspire to be like Malala by taking a stand against bullying. Join us tomorrow as we wear the color orange and take the anti-bullying pledge. Remember, tomorrow, Wednesday, October 16th, Wear and share orange. Let's send a visible message of building community, the kindness, acceptance, and inclusion to prevent bullying. Wear orange on Wednesday to show your support on Anti-Bullying Day. San Jose Multicultural Artist Guide will be hosting the 27th Annual Day of the Dead Festival on Sunday, October 20th, 2024, from noon to 4 p.m. at the San Jose State University Library in downtown San Jose. The parade starts at 12 and travels down San, Fer San Fernando Street to the corner of San, Fer San Fernando and 4th Street. This is the free family event with many exciting activities for all ages and various performances from local artists. Good morning, Shepherd students. We have a busy week in front of us from Unity Day tomorrow. Don't forget to wear orange to our gear up night with at the Tech Museum with some of our eighth graders. And then finally, we're gonna focus on safety this week. Today, we're gonna have our active shooter drill. I know this sounds really scary, um, but it's really important that we have this type of drill and that we practice building our barricades, staying out of the fatal funnel and listening to your teacher for clear directions. So that will be today after brunch. So pay close attention. Our second drill we'll have this week is on Thursday. It's the great shakeout drill. Um, this will be also after brunch. Um, we'll have an announcement, listen to your teacher, your, you'll drop, cover, and hold, and then we'll evacuate. So two important safety drills we're gonna get through this week but we're also gonna have a lot of fun with our Unity Day and showing kindness. And then our tech event at the Tech Museum on Thursday. Thanks everyone, have a great week. Tomorrow around 9.40, there'll be an announcement for the Run, Hide, and Defend drill. The classroom needs to be secured, doors locked, lights off, blinds down. Follow your teacher's instructions. You will also be practicing building a barricade. Follow your teacher's instructions and be quiet. Your teacher will give you instructions to get out of the fatal funnel. Do this quickly and quietly. For the rest of the drill, stay hidden and stay quiet. 
We have a great shakeout drill coming up on Thursday. On October 17, 1989, the Bay Area experienced a 6.9 earthquake. The earthquake caused six billion in damage, injury or er, injured almost 4,000 and killed 63 people. Every year we practice the earthquake safety on the anniversary of the 1989 quake. After brunch on Thursday, there will be an announcement and then you will have to get under your desk and tables and wait for further instructions from your teacher. Am I here with? You want turkey dogs, right? Yeah. Did you like them? Yeah. Uh, what'd you like about them? Very nice. Fair enough. Okay. Thank cool. you. Who am I here with? Oliver. And uh, did you do therapy dogs last week? Yeah. Okay. Did you like them? Yeah. Uh, what did you like about them? What did you like about them? They were dogs. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Who am I here with? Max here and Mama. And you went to therapy dogs last week, right? Yes. Did you like it? It was honestly one of the best experiences I've had in my life. Why'd you, uh, why'd you like it? Just well, because dogs are Mostly since it was dogs, and I don't really hang out with dogs too often. But also since one dog had my name too. It was, it was fun. Thank you. It was really fun. Hi, who am I here with? I'm me. And uh, did you like therapy dogs last week? Yes, it was very nice. And what did you like about therapy dogs? They were really cute, but being I'm a dog person. Hi, who am I here with? Yeah, Paula. And you went to therapy dog last week, right? Yes. What did you like about it? Um, that they're cute. You did like it, right? Yeah. Thank you. Are you ready to show off your skills and be part of an amazing team? Join us for girls basketball tryouts after school this week. Whether you're a seasoned player or just starting out, we want you to come and be part of the fun. Don't miss this chance to, to meet new friends, improve your game, and have a blast at the court. For more information, see Mr. or Mrs. Johnson. We can't wait to see you there. I'm Audrey. And I'm Isaiah. And, and we, we are, are signing, signing off. off.